I want to talk to you about Funding Circle Half a Million Business Line of Credit. This is a fantastic funding program, and I want you to stick around until the end of today's conversation. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Story Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you ought to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka in this roll. <laughs> in today's conversation, I want to talk to you about Funding Circle Half a Million Business Line of Credit. And the minimum FICO is 660, okay? Let's quickly get into the overview of this uh, lender. So when you think about uh, Funding Circle, I want you to think about a platform that gives business owners an opportunity to access a variety of financing methods to help meet the, their needs. And we love that. We love the variety here, okay? And so basically, they are a peer-to-peer marketplace lender that connects business owners on one end with secured and unsecured loans and financing options on the other end. And here you have loans that go from $5,000 to half a million and with rates starting at 0.25% for invoice factoring and ranging from 3.9% to 12.1% per year for term loans. Okay, and uh, term loans and also business line of credit. It's very important to understand that this is a lender that is legitimate, okay? They've been around for a while now. They are SBA approved. In other words, they also offer uh, SBA, SBA loans. This is really great. And so the minimum FICO I want you to really remember today is you, want, you need to have a personal FICO score of at least 660, okay? And uh, this lender, Funding Circle, has had uh, accolades on it. Uh, it has a... Uh, great reputation as you can see on the screen here as of the date of this show they have received 4.6 out of 5 from uh, 11,650 reviews this is perfect and uh, they, they basically have a very high trust elements here and and also when we reviewed this uh, lender we've seen after evaluating the funding circle on uh, tens of criteria including the loan variety the loan amount generosity the cost the APR, the reputation, the customer service, we assigned the company a score of 9.5 over 10. For us, this is the highest, this is one of our highest scores. We believe that this is, this lender is great, especially in terms of the flexibility, in terms of the loan, the loan variety. So if right now you are looking for a specific type of financing and you can't get it because of your FACO or your company's financial situation or the sector you are currently you're currently in, and you can't get it from you can get a, a traditional loan from a, or a line of credit, rather, from a bank or a credit union, you can give uh, Funding Circle a try. And uh, they've been really doing this for many, many years now. Fantastic lender. Let's talk about the target here. Who is the target audience? So who is Funding Circle best for? Well, the thing here is that Funding Circle, as you can see that uh, the minimum FICO is 660. That means if you have average to, to good credit scores, to good credit scores okay you have good credit scores and you have excellent credit score that will be great and if your business is uh, financially stable that will be great also they give loans all the way to half a million and if you're looking for a large loan this could be a great platform but remember though that this is a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace lender in other words when you apply they're going to dispatch your application to a series of investors okay with different different uh profiles when it comes to risk and investors will bait on upon your application you will receive multiple offers of course funding circle staff will be working with you but once you get the uh, the offer that, that that speaks to you you go ahead and sign a promissory note and they give you the cash okay and they their loans are available in washington dc and every state except nevada and loans are not available to some industries including businesses engaged in speculative real estate non-profit organizations weapons manufacturers, gambling businesses, marijuana dispenser, uh, dispensaries, and those in the porn industry, okay? So let's quickly go into the, the pros and cons here. So with the funding circle, the pros, you have, a ro you have robust product offerings, no prepayment penalties, high loan amounts, and rates may be lower than with uh, other lenders. What about the cons? Loans may be difficult to qualify for for some industries, so I guess you wanna double check that. The types of available funding vary by state and industry, and it's not available in, in Nevada. So if you are one of our viewers in Nevada, you can't qualify unless you basically register your business in another, in another state. 
and funding can take longer than with most online lenders, especially for large amounts. Okay, so this is something you need to think about. Now, we are speaking about line of credit. If you get a line of credit from Funding Circle, remember, they can still reduce your line of credit. Your credit limits may be uh, lowered for a number of reasons, including but not limited to fluctuations in your business overall revenue, a significant change in your credit profile, or any other change that might be seen as impacting your ability to carry business debt. So once they give you once they give you an initial credit limit, they can still take it down. They can still reduce it. Don't think like if you if you got like three hundred thousand dollars initially, that's what you you're gonna carry for a long time. No, they they are constantly monitoring your business financial performance to see to make sure that you are still you still have a healthy balance sheet. So let me talk to you about the offer. So when we talk about funding circle, what is the offer really? And uh, so they, they do have a couple of uh, offers, okay? So the thing here is that they are also, uh, they offer a range of financing products, including SBA loans, term loans, merchant cash advances, working capital loans, lines of credit, and invoice factoring. Obviously, in today's conversation, we are focusing on the line of credit, okay? The maximum limit here is uh, half a million. So let's let's just quickly uh, explore the 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 offers they have. So they have for term loans. For term loans, you can basically get as much as a half a million. This is really good. Okay, you have set monthly payments and no prepayment penalty. So basically, the, the term loans from Funding Circle are designed to be as flexible as possible. Okay, and the good thing is that if you are you can have a, a pre qualification, so a soft pull, no no impact to your credit score and in some cases they might repaying the loan can even help you build good business credit and we love the fact that you have to understand that with this business line of credit you can build credit business credit also and let's talk about this business line of credit so this is basically a product that allows you to have flexible funding and you can choose the money you can get the money whenever you need it okay so a revolving line of credits that puts the power in your hands really and uh, so what are the pros here you don't have any application fee. You don't have any prepayment penalty. Funds are available as you need them. You are free to draw on the credit line at any time up to the available limits. You only pay interest on the funds you draw and you basically pay the rest later on, okay? And one thing you need to understand is that they have a very simple application process. You you see if you qualify and you apply in minutes, okay? Your dedicated account manager will get in touch with you and you get approved and get funded. Very, very simple, okay? You, of course, obviously, you need to provide some data, some paperwork, but that's that's about it. Funding Circle also offers SBA 7A loans through uh, through their platform. You have loans that go from $50,000 to half a million, loan terms up to 10 years, a flat 6% interest rate, okay, that's based on the Wall Street Journal Prime, and uh, the rate is uh, plus two is prime plus two point seventy five percent. So I'm just trying to say here is that Funding Circle is legit. They are an SBA approved lender, so this is really great. And if you are interested in that kind of uh, in that kind of loan, we actually are preparing another show that will specifically talk about the SBA seven L loan offered through Funding Circle. Let me talk to you about the evidence needed, folks. We are still having a conversation about Funding Circle half a million business line of credit minimum fico required 660 okay in terms of uh, the evidence that you need to provide to funding circle obviously you got to put some accurate information on the loan application form okay why they will be asking you a few questions a few contextual questions right why are you applying for this loan how would the loan proceeds be used this is not a loan this is a line of credit but it's still the same it's still similar the process is similar okay how will the line proceeds be used what assets need to be purchased and who are your suppliers because they want to have a clear idea of uh, who you are as a business okay and who are your most important stakeholders so your suppliers your customers those are your stakeholders okay what other business debt do you have uh, do you have and who are your creditors so, and in some cases especially if you are asking for a large amount they might want to pick into your management team so they might ask for resumes of the of key leaders of, in the company and they might also want to know uh, the experience level that they are bringing to the table. Okay, don't forget that in some cases, you might be asked to provide a, a business plan. So this is important. I mean, all 
loan programs require a sound business plan to be submitted with the loan application. Uh, we have seen in the past that Funding Circle has asked for business plans to uh, sort of back up the application for a an unsecured business line of credit. Again, especially when yours when uh, your request is in six digits, because if you're just asking for fifty thousand or twenty five thousand in credit line, they're okay. They'll give you the cash as long as you actually meet the other requirements. But if you're asking for it. $400,000, $300,000, then we're talking r real money here. So they will be asking you for more documentation. And it's not its not just the funding circle, it's the lenders. It's the, uh, because this is a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace. So, mar so it's the investor who will be asking for extra evidence, okay? And also you might have to provide your income tax returns and your business tax returns. So this, is, this will be a combo of your 1065 or 1120S or 1120C plus your 1040 and you might be required to provide also your financial statements your balance sheet income statement cash flow bank statements all the enchilada now one thing that's really important to understand is that funding circle will be will be continually monitoring your bank statements they'll be continually monitoring your liquidity situation and if they start seeing that you are dropping that your balance sheet is becoming lethargic or something is going on that is not really uh, that, that does not in sync with uh, the credit situation that you originally offered them as i said before they will lower your credit or even cancel it i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation today about Funding Circle. We are still speaking about a half a million business line of credit. And uh, this is a line that you can qualify for if you have a minimum FICO of 660. Money, 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 money. So they'll be asking you during the application process what, you are, what you'll be using the money for, okay? So when we talk about loan proceeds or line proceeds in this case, you can use the cash for a lot of things. You can use the cash to offset costs during the busy season. I want you to think about the fact that when you have a business line of credit from Funding Circle, you have flexibility. You have peace of mind, right? So you can use the cash to offset costs during the busy season. You can purchase more inventory. You can cover your business's payroll. You can finance new growth and expansion. And this is kind of cool because this is helping you basically do what? combat seasonality and cyclicality if you're an industry that is very cyclical or seasonal and you have to constantly combat those uh, cash flow holes the money you you'll be getting from uh, funding circle will help you plug those liquidity holes this is important from a uh, from um, a profitability level because if you don't have any money you can you cannot buy more inventory you cannot pay the suppliers and you cannot just get the the will going so you really need to have the cash and also one thing we love with uh, with uh, the funding circle uh, business line of credit is that you can there's no restriction really you can draw the cash as soon as you are approved you can draw the cash as, as uh, much as you want obviously they will be monitoring your uh, your uh, liquidity they will be monitoring your financial statements they will be monitoring your uh, cash inflows and cash outflows to make sure everything is is fine Okay, you can also get uh, an SBA loan through Funding Circle to upgrade your business, to cover upfront costs, to consolidate business debts, to tackle an emergency, to grow your business, to prep for busy season. So with Funding Circle, you can get business lines of credit, business term loans, and 7A businesses. Well, the only, the only difference between a, a business line of credit, a traditional business line of credit, and a traditional term loan that's on, on one end, and the SBA loan is that the SBA loan is government guaranteed. It's backed by the full the full authority of uh, the full credit of the Small Business Administration, which is a government agency. So, AKA, you are talking about the U.S. Treasury. So, you're gonna have you are gonna have here an interest the, an interest rate that will be lower than on a traditional line of credit or term loan. <music> So let's talk about rates and fees, folks. We are having a converse, conversation about uh, this uh, business line of credit. And what we want to do is we want to pay attention to three things. 
So I want you to pay attention to the APR, the origination fees, and the late fees. Those are important. So APR, so funding circles, business loan interest, business loan interest uh, rates, or business line of credit interest rate range from 3.9% to 12.1% per year, depending on the applicant's credit worthiness, desired loan term, and loan amounts. You also factor rates for merchant cash advances and working capital loans start at 1.15 and invoice factoring rates start at 0.25% per week, okay? So you have that, so you have the APR. And then you have origination fees. So Funding Circle charges a one-time origination fee between 3.49% and 6.99% on the, of the approved loan amounts. And one thing we have seen in our research is that the exact origination fee depends on the borrower's credit worthiness and the loan term selected during the application and underwriting process. So in general, what we have seen is that origination fees cover the cost of processing the loan, the loan application rather, and underwriting. So those are admin costs and all that kind of stuff. Then you also have the late fees. So Funding Circle as a platform charges borrowers a late payment fee of 5% of the payment amount for monthly payments that are more than 10 days late. And you don't want to get in that territory because this is bad for your personal credit and bad for your business credit. And you don't want that, okay? And so you really want to have to put in place a solid liquidity management strategy to make sure that you are always paying on time. And so you also have some associated costs that come with a, a business line of credit from Funding Circle. So typically, tapping into a credit line will incur an average draw fee of 1.6%. And late payments will incur an average fee of 5% of the past due amount if you miss the payments after taking a draw. Of course, the, the, the good thing is that a Funding Circle staff will explain all the potential fees associated with the line of credit before you accept any offer of financing. So this is kind of cool. And one thing you need to understand also is that so you have no cost to apply through Funding Circle, no monthly maintenance fee, 1.6% average draw fee, and 5% average fee for past due amounts. And if you want to qualify for it, if you want to qualify for it, a funding circle business line of credit, I've said this before, you got to have a FICO score of 660. Okay. Personally, you must, you must have, you must have been in business for at least two years and at least one business owner must have a FICO of 660. So funding circle applicants are evaluated holistically based on personal and business factors that also include revenue, cash flow, and customer reviews. Okay. So this is really good. And we love the fact that they've been doing this successfully for the last uh, more than 10 years now. And uh, that's just fantastic. Let's talk about the application. So the application per se. So how do you apply for funding circle or business line of credits and business loans in general? Well, it's very simple. I mean, it's not really, it's not that complicated. You just need to submit an, an online application. So you need to click uh, on apply from the funding circle homepage. So the application can be completed in about six to 10 minutes. We have, we, we have actually seen clients who did this in five minutes. Okay. And uh, the, the application will require you to submit information like your preferred loan amounts or line up line amount in this case, as well as relevant business information. So that, that so that's the first step. The second step is that you're going to work with a personal account manager. So once you submit an application, you will be assigned a PAM. So a personal account manager, who will contact you within one hour during business hours. So the account manager will discuss with you your borrowing needs, will request additional information and supporting documents. For example, we're speaking about tax returns, you know, your 1065 or 1120S, 1120C, as well as your 1040. And they might also ask for your bank statements. And the PAM, your personal account manager, will also initiate the underwriting process. Okay, then you just have to await a lending decision. You just got to wait. There's nothing you can do. So completed applications are reviewed by Funding Circle's underwriting team, and most borrowers receive a response within 24 hours. And if your application is not complete or more information is necessary, Funding Circle will contact you before making a decision. So they basically, they'll give you a chance to provide the, the missing information before making a final decision. So this is really good. And so once you are, you are they make you an offer, just accept the loan offer and receive the funds. Okay. So loans funds, loan funds will be sent electronically to your business bank account and money can be received in as little as one business day. And once you have that, just start making payments. That's it. So once you draw the cash, once you, you draw the cash from uh, the business line of credit, start making the minimum amount due. That's it. 
and the funding circle enrolls borrowers in automatic payments from the business bank account used during the application process okay and borrowers can also make payments via check but we really don't uh, we don't encourage that so big decision time big decision time are you interested in this business not a credit is this something that really uh, talks to you do you need the, the cash right now what is your financial statement what, what is your financial situation what is your balance sheet healthy or lethargic okay what is your FICO score remember that if you actually have a, a team of co-founders they only need one co one co-founder to have a minimum FICO score of 660 not all of them okay just a one all right Okay, folks, this is it for today's conversation. I was talking to you about the funding circle, a half a million business line of credit. I gave you an overview about the products. We actually spoke about the target audience, the offer itself. We also spoke about the evidence needed. We talk about the loan proceeds, the rates and fees, and the application itself. All right. Thank you so much for your attention. I'll speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.